When it comes to drawing support and resistance lines, I'm pretty much a beginner. I almost never use this method in my trading because I think there is a human factor involved. That's why I like to use indicators. So today I actually decided to backtest my price action skills 100 times and see if I could make any money. But before doing that, I had to watch a couple of videos on YouTube about how to properly draw support and resistance lines. Okay, so we're currently looking at the British Pound, Japanese Yen, 15 minute chart. And for this strategy, we're only going to use one indicator. And that indicator is called Average True Range. Okay, so the ATR is a market volatility indicator used in technical analysis. It's typically derived from the 14-day simple moving average of a series of true range indicators. So this indicator basically tells us how far the price can go in any given direction per one candlestick. And the reason we need to have this indicator on a chart is to determine our stop loss and our take profit targets. Okay, so in this backtesting, I'm only going to be using the support and resistance lines. I'm not going to be drawing any trend lines. Now let's get into the trading rules and see how we're going to be entering long and short positions. Okay, so first we're going to zoom out and draw some obvious support and resistance lines. Okay, now for a long signal to be valid, we first need to have a strong bearish move and the price has to bounce off our support level and start reversing. Okay, let me show you an example. Okay, so we see the price bounced off our support level and this is obviously the signal for us to take a long position. We're going to set our stop loss at 2 times the ATR. We see the current value is 0.21. So we're going to multiply that by 2 and that's going to be 0.42. And we're going to be targeting 1.5 times the risk. So let's actually see how well this trade performs. Okay, so we see this trade turned out to be profitable. Exactly opposite rules apply for short trades. So first, let's zoom out and draw some obvious levels of resistance. Okay, so we see this level of resistance is pretty strong because the price got rejected quite a few times. And now we're basically waiting for the price to bounce off and start moving in a bearish direction. Okay, so we see the price got rejected and now it continues to drop. So we're going to place a sell order. And we're going to set our stop loss at two times the ATR. We see the ATR is currently sitting at 0.18. So our stop loss is going to be sitting at 0.36. And we're going to target 1.5 times the risk. Okay, so we see this trade turned out to be successful as well. Also, if the price breaks through the level of support and resistance, this is also going to be considered as a new signal. So here, for example, we had a bullish breakout. So we see the price just broke through this strong level of resistance. So we're going to go ahead and place a buy order and set a stop loss and a take profit target. Okay, let me now give you a couple more examples. So here we see I draw a level of resistance. The price bounced off. So this would be a confirmation for me to enter a short position. I will set my stop loss at 0.42 pips. And my take profit target will be set at 1.5 times the risk. Okay, so we see this trade turned out to be profitable. Okay, so here we see a strong bearish move, but this move got rejected by this support level. So let's actually draw a support line. We see it's a strong support, so let's actually enter a long position. We will set a stop loss at the distance of 0.60. Okay, so we see the price successfully hit our take profit target and it actually got rejected by this resistance level. So let's actually place a sell order. Okay, so we see we've got another successful trade. Okay, so this is where we had a strong bearish momentum and the price got rejected by this support level.
Okay, so now we have an idea about how to trade with this strategy. So let's actually backtest it 100 times and I'm really excited to see those results. Okay, so after 100 tests, the results are quite surprising, not gonna lie. I expected the win rate to be a bit lower, but it's actually 49%. And we increased our account size by 51.9%. We see at the beginning, I was really terrible at drawing those support and resistance lines. But as soon as I understood how to draw them properly, I started making some really serious gains. The profit factor for this strategy is 1.44 and I had 4 consecutive wins against 6 consecutive losses. So overall I would say this strategy is not that bad, it's all about how well you can identify the level of supply and demand. But again I do not encourage trading with this method because as I said there is a human factor involved. Okay, so in terms of win rate, this strategy is not great. So I think I definitely have to retest it as my skills have become better. Okay, traders, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit different from the ones that you usually see on my channel. But anyway, I had fun doing it and I think I'm going to do it again in the future.